Well, welcome back friends. I'm glad you could join us again. As you can tell, we're in our favorite spot in in the world, in the bush, right behind our place. And uh, let me tell you, it's cool. It was uh, minus 24 degrees Celsius when uh, we got up this morning. It's probably only maybe, I think they're calling a high for a high of minus 17 degrees Celsius. So that, that's, that's cool enough. So Heather and I had to whip into town really quick this morning. It was a little cold in the car. And then we got home and uh, we thought we would come in and I, I seen some nice really large trees in here. They gotta be, oh, 18 inches on the butt, uh, maybe 16 inches on the butt, I guess, somewhere around there. Anyways, I wanted to skid those out because they will be some top plates for on our pole barn. So I didn't process that load of logs I brought out the other day, uh, but it's sitting by the mill and uh, they're calling for 10 to 15 centimeters of snow overnight or tomorrow, I'm not sure. But anyways, there's some nice nice tree in here anyways I wanted to drop. And uh, we still have some of the firewood that Heather took out. Now she didn't take out a large sleigh load and it was pretty dry that stuff, but uh, we're still burning off that. So that's been uh, two days and two nights off, off that little load that she cut and took out with our battery chainsaw and her snowmobile. That's, that's, I think that's fairly inexpensive to heat your house. So I have these two logs down now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna skid them out and I'll show you what that's like. All right, so unfortunately here, folks, the audio quit. I guess I brought in the wrong cord to plug in the audio, but anyways, here I am just telling you how I cut these trees, this one tree in half, roughly. So the one I wanted nine foot lengths, two of them, so I cut the largest one at uh, 18 foot, four inches long, and the small one here I'm pointing at, I cut that one at 16.4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over here and I'm going to show you what my dad taught me. It's a little technique. It's called uh, uh, bitch hitching. I don't know if that's what the real name of it is, but uh, anyways, that's what I was told. So basically I need more chain here. So what I do is I always hook, I, I use the, the slip hook on the largest log. So I undo this now. I, I pulled, what I do is I start from the, I pull the furthest one away up to match the butt of the closest one. Now I'm showing you here, I'm using the round hook, not, not the grab hook, but the open hook. Now I'm going to get you a little closer here, folks. You'll see this is going to be a little better. Okay, so this is the round hook I was talking about here. This is the, the slip hook, not the grab hook. The grab hook's the pointy one. Uh, now getting on here isn't too bad. I rolled the log too close, I guess, really. So you're better off just to lay the chain out and roll the log on top of it. It seems to work the best for this guy. Now you got to make sure you get your hook the proper way too because if you get it the wrong way the chain's just going to pull out here and I'll show you how I was explaining this in the video but so that's the way you hook it there you want the hook you want the chain to pull into the hook so it doesn't slip out if you get it turned the opposite way like this when you start to pull that chain is just going to pull out of the hook and you could get it in the back of your cranium and, and, and it's not going to feel too good on the, the old noodle now, so the largest one, I choke it like that. Now, this one here is what you call a bitch hitch. You basically give the chain a swing like this. You want the one running to your tow machine behind the chain. So you just give it a quick little twist. 
and that's uh, how we used to hook them up and, and I'll demonstrate this again here very shortly. Now it's best if the second log you're hooking is in line with the first one you're hooking. So you see here I got that hooked up here and you can see, I hope you can see anyways. Uh, see so that's going to pull but now like I say I should have that that smaller log further ahead and I do pull it ahead here and I'll, I'll give you a little demonstration on how I hook that again. You can see here it's caught on a limb there we go. So you see here that uh, that's twisted. So you want to twist it like right there. Hope you're following that. Like I say it is easier. You do have to pull. They should be lined up. That one I'm pointing at the small one should be in line with the large one the first one you have choked and I'll show you how easy this is this just it just as soon as I pull on this you'll see it'll pull them together see that it's just yanking her in there you'll see as soon as I start to go it's it's gonna snug that right up tightly and, and uh, it'll go just great so I'm just hooking up here I guess I tried to have the camera turn enough so you could see but maybe uh, Maybe it's not. I'm, I'm really just hooking it up to the bar here on the back of the snowmobile. In case you can't see it, I don't know how it's going to look once it's in full screen mode here. I just give that another wrap or two, I believe. I was trying to hook it there, but it won't change too short. But that's okay. Now, uh, you're going to see here very shortly. Okay, now we're going to get this machine going. Now you watch how easy those come together. As soon as I get a little, little pressure on it there, the plan is going to come together, folks. You're going to see that. Are you ready? There, look at that, look at that, look at that. Whoa, he does not work great. And that's uh, just how you make a bitch hitch. And that old machine, the old snow beast pulls her just like nothing, folks. So let's keep going on. Okay, so I'm heading right to the skidway with this load of logs here. It's uh, pretty basic there. You'll see I just come around the corner here. It's not too far. You see me coming through the trees here. So I come out, this is basically where my skidway is. I just leave all the logs there. Once I get them all gathered up, I cut them in half, load them on the sleigh, and uh, then we head for home, and, and that's about it. And that's uh, far more the skidways, folks, once I cut that in half. I have uh, two here, two, that will be six of them. So now to undo this style bitch hitch, I just basically undo it from the slip knot first. Pull that through. Take this, run it underneath. Pull that out like that. And that's how I choke two logs together really quick to pull. Simple as that. All right, folks, so I hope you enjoyed that quick little video there on how to, uh, do a bitch hit, so it's really easy if you got one log already done and you want to hook onto another one. That's uh, the quickest way I find to hook up another log to the previous one. And that's how I do it. I do that uh, three times, cut them in half, and uh, I have six logs, 12 logs, I mean, eight foot, eight foot long. So these are gonna be, uh, these should be uh, two, two nine footers and two more eight footers. So. It's, I mean, I had nothing else to do today, so I thought I would do a quick little skidding video for you folks and show you exactly how I do it. So please, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you friends later. Bye-bye, all.